Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I've decided to take on the challenge of creating a 3D printed trebuchet. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here is the trebuchet in Blender. Like most of the 3D printed designs I make in Blender, I used a lot of Boolean modifiers for it. I also did use a little bit of poke faces and loop cuts for the design aspect part of it. Speaking of the design, this actually wasn't the first trebuchet that I designed. This other one I never really finished, but it was my original idea. It was much more similar to the typical trebuchet design. I ended up going with my current one, partially due to a cool video I saw about a homemade trebuchet that used a similar design as mine, and partially because this other one would have been too big to actually 3D print. With my current design, I also played around with the silly concept of having tentacles on the print, but decided against that. Once I had finished designing the trebuchet, I printed it out and tested it. Assembling it was actually quite easy, and here's an explanation. Okay, so the trebuchet works by you pulling it down here, then you need to grab the weight, the counterweight, pull it up and around like this, and the string right here holds that to the little piece of filament right here, and then it gets sprung around, see look, and that's how it launches it, with this bent up here, and this is connected to this right here and just slides right off. The nice thing about it being 3D printed is that this is actually all assembled in a few pieces. That right there can actually unscrew behind the tape. The tape's just here so that it doesn't slide around. And then the filament right here, which is really nice because then I can just use a tiny slice of it. You can pull out like that, and you can actually pull out this entire thing just takes a second. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And you can see that it has the hole so it won't come out. And then there's the same thing with this side right here. And what's nice about this one is because I didn't really know what one it was or what one it needed to be on originally, it could be adjusted very simple and it ended up working perfect with the second one. There we go, it's all the way through. And there we go. Now that the screws are out, you can literally just take this entire thing off like that. And you can slide this off, which you can see how it's just one solid piece as well. This right here was actually printed in one solid thing, so in the slicer I was able to pause the print right here as if it was a color change, and then inserted a whole bunch of screws and weight so that it's actually pretty heavy. But then it's just a replica on the other side. And a simple little rod. This little rod is what makes this entire thing work. There is also in here, inside of it, it's very hard to see, but there is actually bearings in here, as you can see when they slide right out right here. These aren't necessarily required to make it work, it just makes it slightly more efficient. How much, I'm really not sure, and I'm not sure how, if it's actually worth even having the bearings in the first place.
Anyways, after I assembled it, it didn't work right away. Turned out this was because of what I was using to attach the string on top, which was a piece of filament. It ejected the string, per se, a little too early. I then tried to screw, and it launched it a little too late, and angled the entire thing down. I ended up settling on toothpicks, but may try a paper clip in future, so that I can bend it. Otherwise, I also drilled another spot for a screw to permanently attach to the other side of the string. After all that, it was finally working properly, and I'm now able to launch small Legos. Hey, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you want to print the file out for yourself, then it will be over on my website, depending on when you're watching this, as I don't quite have it at the moment. But anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you later, and bye! Okay, so I think we missed the trail. That's where we were supposed to be. Then I went down there. And there's some guys over there.